of crews throughout the state from southern Maine to down east will be bringing you the latest conditions along the coast as they happen. Let's start with a look at this storm though with Chief Meteorologist Todd Gutner. Hi Todd. Amanda Bryan, good to see you. Good morning, everybody. On a stormy Saturday morning, we are coming up on this high tide, and it could end up being again historic with all kinds of problems along the coastline. For the most part, it's still rising, and it will continue to do so for the next hour as we approach the high tide and then slowly recede through the afternoon. But already we have road closures. We're going to end up with significant beach erosion and possibly some more damage to waterfront and some of those working harbors up and down the coastline. So we're starting to shift our attention to the coast and to this incoming high tide. A lot of us, though, are only going to deal with heavy rain and very heavy snow. Mountains are picking up quite a bit from this storm, six plus inches of heavy wet snow. But that rain snow line is penetrating pretty far inland now. It's gotten through the Augusta area. It's moving into and through Bangor. Same thing with Lewiston Auburn. And we're dealing with heavy downpours along the coastline where because of the tide and the water surging into the coast and the heavy rain trying to go through the storm drains, we're going to end up with quite a bit of drainage issues for the next few hours. Other part of the story, the wind gusting over 40 at times along the coastline and occasionally up over 50 miles per hour in the mountains. With that said, there actually aren't many power outages at all. Last check, there are less than a thousand from CMP and Versant, so that's some great news. Over the next couple of hours here, the rain will be tapering off across the south. The snow will continue up north, but that whole area of precipitation will be moving north. And by three o'clock, it's a lot better in southern Maine and getting better in eastern and central Maine. Still snowing pretty good up across the far north. Later this evening and later on tonight, all of this will be sliding out of here. We are going to turn a lot colder during the overnight as temperatures drop into the 20s. That means we'll deal with some refreezing, but we'll worry about that tomorrow morning as we get up. So that's kind of the latest right now going on with the storm. All eyes are on the coastline for this incoming high tide.